NHRA legend Tom the Mongoose McEwen D.Ed at 81. Tom the Mongoose McEwen died on June 10th at the age of 81. Photo by NHRA. Tom the Mongoose McEwen, who was voted number 16 on the NHRA and number 39 semicolon S top 50 drivers list in 2001, died on June 10th. He was 81. Nicknamed the Mongoose in 1964, as part of a campaign to real rival Don the Snake probed him into a high exposure match race, McEwen won five NHRA national events during his 35 plus year career that included time in funny cars and top fuel dragsters. Always the promoter, McEwen earned a reputation for being one of the sport and number 39 semicolon s most colorful figures. Through his long association with Prodham, a friendship that survived their racing careers and sometimes bitter rivalry, McEwen helped blaze the trail toward the sponsor drag racing team. Their Mattel sponsorship, which gave way to Snake and Mongoose Hot Wheels toys, and backing from big names like Coca-Cola and Carefree Sugarly Scum were of major significance, but McEwen was a drag racer first. A movie based on the rivalry was released in 2013. They were the biggest thing in racing in the early 70s. Don the Snake put him in his Barracuda and Tom Mongoose McEwen and the Duster. If you're reading this, chances are pretty good you had or. The Mattel deal ran from 1970 through 1972, and in 1973, Wildlife Racing secured Carefree Sugarly Scum as a sponsor. McEwen and Prudham dissolved their corporation at the end of the 1973 season, but it was a very lucrative partnership. They didn't in number 39 semicolon T perform badly on the racetrack, either. In 1972, McEwen won his first major event when he overwhelmed the top fuel field at the Bakersfield March meet. A year later, he scored his first NHRA national event victory by outlasting the quickest funny car field in history at the Super Nationals at California and number 39 semicolon S Ontario Motor Speedway. I was the, sir, and Prudham was the racer, said McEwen. I and number 39 semicolon D set up the deals. Then we and number 39 semicolon D go out to the track, and he and number 39 semicolon D usually beat me. There were times when he was beating me so regularly that the only way I could have beaten him was if he got lost on the way to the track and I got to single. There's another great motorsports rivalry being celebrated cinematically this month, while Rush grabs all the global headlines, the drag racing biopic Snake and Mongoose has all the same elements. We were a good team, we complemented each other. Don was the serious guy, spent a lot of time with his car, and I was more like the wrestlers today, saying how bad I was going to beat him to build interest in the deal. McEwen went on to win four more national events, including his dramatic U.S. Nationals funny car victory over Prudham in 1978, following the death just a few days earlier of his son, Jamie. He also won the prestigious Big Bud shootout in 1984 and won top fuel at the 1991 Summer Nationals to become one of a short list of drivers to have won in both Nitro classes. Courtney Force was able to build on her points lead in the funny car category at the Virginia NHRA Nationals at Virginia Motorsports Park, bringing home her fourth funny car victory of the McEwen, a member of the International Drag Racing Hall of Fame. The Motorsports Hall of Fame of America and many more, remained popular even in retirement, attending car shows and doing promotional work for a long line of admirers, and was a semi-regular presence at recent races. This year, he had a big hand in helping put together the NHRA Legends Tour and had already made appearances in Las Vegas and Houston as part of the program. For more on the life of Tom McEwen, please see the NHRA website h slash t n h r a dot com by auto staff n h r a racing